At the end of this video, you'll know how to find and fill out group notes. Group notes can be found in the bottom left-hand corner of Best Notes. These are the only documents that are not started from the client's chart. Selecting group notes will open a new window. Select the new session button on the right-hand side of the group note you would like to create. Once the group note opens, you will add participants. Participants are the clients who are part of the group. Typing in the client's first or last name will generate a list of clients to choose from. Select the client's name to add them to the group note. Then select the Add Participant icon again to add the next client. Once you have added all of your participants, you will add any required signers. Then you can fill out the rest of the document. The top portion of the document is general information and will be applied to all clients. This should not include any client-specific information. In this specific group note, the start date and time will automatically be documented based on when the document was opened or when the appointment was scheduled if it was tied to an appointment. The end time will need to be entered manually. The total will be the duration that you can select in the dropdown. The in-group field is where you will document the clients that attended this group. The code is meant for billing coding, but if your database is set up for billing, the billing code will automatically pull into the bottom of the group note if you are using the best notes calendar. The provider will automatically be populated with the user who opened the group note or the provider listed in the appointment. The provider location is a dropdown. Then the session field is a text area or could potentially also be a dropdown. If you have a list of topics with a brief description that you would like to add to this dropdown, send a ticket to team at bestnotes.com. Within the Summary of Participation section is where you will enter your client-specific information. You will see the client's name at the beginning of each client section. There is an Attendance dropdown and a Location dropdown to fill out first. Then you will have the Mental Status section. Each of the items in this section are text fields and dropdowns, which will also allow you to select multiple options. The Initial Diagnosis will pull in the initial diagnosis that was entered in the assessments and the MTP diagnosis will pull the master diagnosis that was entered in the master treatment plan. The problems objectives area will also pull from the master treatment plan. Then you have the text fields, focused on, response, and plan. These are free text areas. Then the horizontal line will indicate that you are done with the previous client and are moving on to the next client. At the top right-hand corner of the group note, you will see a save, save and lock, and a close cancel button. Group notes are not auto-save documents. If you need to come back later to work on your document, select the save button, then the close cancel button. Then when you are ready to work on your group note again, you can select group note in the bottom left-hand corner, find your active session, and select the date to open and finish that group note. When you are completely finished, be sure to review your signers adding additional signers as needed, and select Save and Lock. That group note is now finished and can be found in the History tab. If you navigate to the chart of a client that was included in the group note, each client will have the group note on their activity log, which will only include the top section of the group note and the section specific to that client. Now you know how to find and fill out group notes. If you have any questions about group notes, you can reach out to Best Notes Support.